Yo, what's up? We're Triple Fingers from Czechia. We're making new album. You should check that out pretty soon. And you're watching Local Bank Smoke Out. Fuck yeah! yeah. What's up, man? <laughs> there we go. Ladies and gentlemen, MyMerskai.com! Yeah, hell yeah! What's happening? <laughs> How are you, dude? How's the day? Good. Good. A uh, hell of a day. Uh, <laughs> Explain. Lots of printing. Please introduce yourself. Let me know whereabouts in the world you are. Plug anything, and then explain a normal day in the life of yourself. All right. Well, I'm Andy. I uh, I'm the owner of my merch guy. Um, we're in Northeast Michigan, um, where it's cold a lot of the time. Lots of snow. Um, but yeah, I print merch for bands all over the country and, uh, like, you know, bands come from like different countries and come here and, and I'll print for them too. Do you have a lot of international, international artists that, that contact you as well? Um, not too many. We do like maybe one or two a year. We try to like stay like you know stay within is, our country just because like shipping is just crazy. I imagine. I imagine. Yeah, it's wild. like um, one time we shipped like twenty four hats to Canada, and I think it was like seventy five dollars. And I was like, "Fuck it." <laughs> yeah, it adds up. How did? How long ago yeah. did you did you start uh, by March guy? And and what was the like brainchild idea where you were just like, "This is what I want to do." So I started in 2016. Um, we actually started with like uh, sh shot glasses because like nobody else was doing them. Um, and then I branched out to doing t-shirts and everything else. And now like we don't even print shot glasses. Is that does that require like a special kind of printing gear to do like engraving on a glass? I don't know if it's engraving, but like. So it started off as like kind of an engraving it's like this cream that you like put on it like basically what i would do is i would like um cut out like decals and then put them on the shot glass and then put this uh, cream on it okay and then like that would basically tear away at the glass and then i'd pull it off and i would you know like wash them all but like like they would take forever like the time now it's not worth it back then you know like that was all that i did so you know was worth it for sure now it's not i mean you're talking maybe four hours for like 24 shot glasses dang that is probably that is... making a dollar shot glass like <laughs> so you've you've ramped up the revenue heavily for sure and i know that you guys are uh, oh, yeah. not only endorse us but you endorse artists what exactly do you look for when when an artist contacts you and is like, hey, I want to, like, join the team? So, like, um, so I was actually, I, I was in and out of different, uh, like, metal bands, like, since I was, I don't know, 13 or 14. What did you play? So I, I started, well, okay, so I actually started out taking piano lessons when I was 12. Um, then I moved to being a vocalist, which everybody told me I was terrible. Like this was back when I was like 13 and 14. Like, you know, of course I was fucking terrible. Like, <laughs> <laughs> you know, so, so I'm like, all right, you know, I'm not going to do that anymore. I picked up, uh, guitar, did that for a, a couple of years. And then, um, one time I started it, you know, started, started up something and we didn't have a, a vocalist, so I was like, I'll do it. <laughs> then I did that for 15 years, I think. Wow. 15 yeah. years. So, so again, though, how, do, how exactly does someone get a hold of you, and, like, what are you looking for regarding an artist that uh, 
wants you know a discount code a sponsorship etc um we look for like like how you present yourself like you know do you post a lot you know do you play out like we have you know bands that they'll place an order like once a month and like that's awesome that means you're doing your job like if you're you know you're making cash for you know your other um like your e- equipment and all that stuff i mean you're you're treating it how you're supposed to treat it um and it is a job it is totally a job and yeah and one of the main parts is is yeah. is selling the merch and and being able to you know feed the van and and put gas in the van and blah 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 yeah yeah i mean like um there's been shows that i've been to that like you know people like wanted t-shirts and stuff and they didn't have anything like they didn't even have a table set up and i'm like what are you doing like um when i was in a band like we sold out of t-shirts at almost every show because like we pushed them hard and i mean you know being in a band like it's not cheap and you know we didn't have a lot of money i mean that's how it is pretty much everywhere like you know so like you have to push it as hard as possible so when you when you started did you take like your your own income from you guys selling so much merch and i imagine shot glasses and and you were like oh i just want to i feel like i could do this full time and and do pretty well so you took some of that side money and and bought like all the printing equipment to do this or so when i started i actually started with a cricket like a two hundred dollar vinyl cutter sure. from joanne fabrics um and then like i started taking t-shirt orders which you know th- then i would take the vinyl cut it you know and then uh, heat press t-shirts and that's what i did for i don't know a couple of months and then i just grew that you know and then i got a tiny printing press and then you know i started like printing which printing has a huge learning curve um you know like starting out like now we have two automatic presses like we have probably a quarter of a million dollars of equipment wow here so that is amazing this is the real deal we're talking to the real deal right here i'm telling you guys if you're watching and you and you're playing shows i say this all the time but we've worked with a lot of merch companies and there's no one that has as good of quality for as good of a price as mymerchguy.com. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. And oh, uh, yeah, man, thanks. Like, like you know, you pushing us and other people pushing us like definitely helped with helped us grow. Like, I mean, my goal in 2016 was to like try to like do a hundred dollars a day, and like n- now you know we'll have. Five thousand dollar days, ten thousand wow. days, like ten thousand know. dollar days. What? And then we'll have like nothing, like <laughs> you know, like it's uh, it's like feast or famine, like you know. I I hear you. We'll either but, have but huge, the ten, you know, a ten thousand dollar day though. You could have a couple of down days after that one, I imagine. But for real though, you oh, yeah. you guys work hard, and you, you t- I'm telling you, it's the best. It's the best. Any, were you prepped ahead of time about the trivia portion of the show? Nope. Okay. Not at all. If you're down yeah. to do some trivia, we we usually ask that the guest has hot sauce or a beer or something, but the, that, that's not necessarily required. Uh, if you have a water that or or a beverage, that'd be cool too. If I my goal is to stump you on a trivia question, but you get to okay. pick the trivia. What? Okay. Movie or TV show have you seen the most? Oh, God. Um, so if I ask you something about this movie or TV show, which I think a movie is easier because it's hour and a half, two hours versus five seasons. Um, right. What let's would, do, would you not get stumped? Let's do uh, the movie Queen of the Damned. What? Amazing film, <laughs> amazing soundtrack, That's, amazing film. 
that's actually what got me like started as a vocalist like the, sa- the soundtrack and, and video f- and movie for it yeah oh yeah dude it's 100%. so good it's so good and it and i believe what jonathan davis pretty much did the majority of the soundtrack too right yep so he did it for the the movie but not like the actual like uh, soundtrack because his label wouldn't let him like like actually like sing for like the uh the disc you know back then but you're so you're that's like why, fairly like, familiar with with yeah. uh the the soundtrack and how it's like incorporated into yeah. the film yeah like so if you listen to the actual soundtrack like you know one song has Chester Bennington one has David Draymond, one has Wayne Static, but in the, the actual film, it's all Jonathan Davis. Yeah, I thought that was so interesting. It's almost like two different soundtracks that are like yeah. you could obtain. That's yeah, like that's uh, that's because of his label, like Corn's label. That they said cool. no, so he's like, all right, I'm gonna find like all of the good people from today, you know, like Chester Bennington and Jay Gordon from Orgy, and you know all that. I'm getting a history lesson, and I love it. But I think I'm <laughs> going to stump you right now, Andy. All right. In Queen of the Damned, what season and year was Lestat sired? I don't know. Do you find this? I'll give you a hint, though. You find this out when Jesse begins to read Lestat's journal. Was it 1422? I don't know. <laughs> it's a great guess, but no, that is incorrect. <laughs> so if you had hot sauce, you'd be doing the hot sauce right now. I'll, I'll chug a little beer and do some hot sauce for Here. you. But winter. Oh, what do you got? What do you got? Captain. Captain Apple. Let's go. Excellent. Excellent. Cheers. Thanks for being a good sport. There. What, so what, what genre of music is your favorite? I know. We're kind of talking about music and regarding Queen of the Dam, but what do you what do you jam like in your personal time? Work is over, no family stuff. Um, like so, I grew up with like new metal, like you know, like Limp Bizkit, Linkin Park, and all that. Like so, the stuff that, that I like now, it, like kind of has that like like same like like same uh like feel to it. It's pretty much like today's new metal. Were you part of the LP, like, um, LPU? Um, I don't know what that is. <laughs> okay, it was the Lincoln Park fan club. I used to be a part of it. So I just... Oh, no. <laughs> For sure. No. But I mean, like, um, like, just, like, like weird stuff, too, now. Like, uh, um, that uh, little Darkies song, that was a, a song that I had to play. Yeah, but, yeah. Like, you know, the, heavy... The face and just like weird stuff uh, so do you know do you know jake hill mm-hmm. yo can i play a song for you yeah let's, let's go i'm gonna play a song for you i'm gonna throw you should be able to see my screen now yeah and then i'm yep. gonna jump over here this is a song we discovered i don't know like two weeks ago somebody somebody showed me this one and i can't stop playing it dude but i think i think this would be up your alley But it, but it's it's a it's an MC that incorporates deathcore or like a snippet of it in every song. Okay. But it's eighty per ninety percent hip hop the rest of the time. It's unique. Right. You submitted earlier. I feel like this could be up your alley. I think I heard this. Actually. It's pretty dope. And I'll just kind of skip forward. Just 
complete chain. I know. <laughs> just every time, oh, just yeah. somewhere in the song, is a little little snip snip. So, so beyond 2023, going into 2024, what what do you have mapped out as far as like expanding to take over the world? So, the whole like like endorsement program thing. Like when I was in a band, um, like we were part of the cold cock whiskey community, which like you know was huge and like that's like what i kind of like like wanted this to like be like like the community was huge like everybody was like friendly and stuff like what i want to do is i want to grow that i totally know what and you mean my my old band was actually sponsored so, by, by cold cock so i know yeah. exactly what you mean yeah we actually have there's actually a cold cock uh flag like over here that like, was that was like, carrie like, king like, too right um i think I that know. he was one of the original investors from uh from slayer he might have been like what i know is um one of the guys from uh jägermeister he actually started up cold cock that's like kind of like um I'm trying to think like 2000 10-ish, like, you know. Yeah, somewhere uh, around there. Hey, 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 Jägermeister was huge with, like, sponsoring other bands and stuff. Then, now, you know, well, then Cold Cock kind of took over and started sponsoring bands and stuff. And, like, that's kind of, like, what, I, what I'm what i trying to, to accomplish, like, to create a community. And then, like, you know, the, the endorsed artists, like, they also get, like, discounts and, like, um, they get deals that nobody else gets gets they get access to like new stuff that we're printing that we're not printing for other people yet like um we're we're coming out with uh windbreakers um shorts a couple other things that you know it'll be exclusively for the endorsed artists first do you guys do like booty shorts or panties by chance i had somebody ask me that we we did in the past um, we probably will in the future. Like, we've been trying out, like, different printing technologies that's, like, new. Um, which, your t-shirts are actually the new technology that we're, like, trying out. It's actually... It's the best, it's dude. A, it's the best quality. Full-color print that is, that has a screen printed, like, um, don't know how much you know about screen printing. But it's a full color print, and then the underbase is actually screen printed. Okay, I don't really know anything about that world, but dude, it was fun. Yeah. It was fun picking apart your brain and figuring out how how the company started and uh, what you kind of look for yeah, and endorse artists. And you're you're very very quick to respond anytime I've ever messaged you. So I imagine you're fast with with yeah, other artists that are like so our goal is to be the, the first ones to answer you like um you know people like shop for quotes and like my goal is to talk to you to first and chances are that's usually how it is hell yeah well you're doing you you're know, doing I mean, it right man you're doing it right like, like people will like you know they'll like message at like 2 a.m and if I'm up, I'm like, hey, what's up? And they're like, I can't believe you responded. <laughs> like, you know, it's You're hustling. 2 a.m. on a Sunday. <laughs> you know, I'm like, hey. You're hustling. You know, if you guys go to the website, mymerchguide.com, and you make music, it's at least hitting them up and, and just picking his brain and seeing if, if you're up his alley and you're what, what they're looking for. But they endorse a lot of artists. And I'm telling you, I, I cannot say it enough. The best quality merch for the best price. I'm serious. MyMerchGuy.com. Andy, thank you so much for joining, dude. We appreciate you. No problem. And uh, we'll we'll chat soon, brother. Thank you so much, for real. Definitely. Yep. Give me a hell yeah. Hi, what's up, sir? Welcome to the local band. Smoke out.